Okay, so what you're listening to right now is the new album by Them Crooked Vultures. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I told you I'd be reviewing them today, and I'm living up to that promise here. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, let's start with what makes this album good. And to begin, we have to state the obvious. Um, Dave Grohl, Josh Homme, and John Paul Jones are excellent musicians. The, technic the technical ability of all three on their respective, respective instruments here is top-notch. It's probably not going to get much better than this um, right now. So, that's great. Um, second good thing, I like the long jamminess style of this album. Um, many of the songs go over six minutes. Um, there are some shorter ones, but most of the songs right here are six, seven minutes with plenty of tempo changes, guitar solos, moments, drum solos even. Um, so I find that really, really interesting. Um, and that's probably really what's good about it. Uh, here's what's bad about it. As I mentioned earlier, technically all three musicians are incredible, incredible. But like Sir All About Music said in his preview video to this, they just seem to blend together in the most boring and generic way possible. I mean, I didn't, I, I watched that video, but I didn't pay much attention to it because, you know, I don't want to go into an album thinking it's going to be bad, or else I'm going to, in my head, I will do anything to justify that it will be bad. You do it too, trust me. Um, but it's true what he said. There's some very generic and boring stuff. Now, especially the first time through, I did not enjoy it that much, other than Elephants and Scumbag Blues, which he, so all about music, also predicted. But on the second, third, and fourth listens of this album, I do notice that after Element, elef yeah. Elephants and Scumbag Blues, I tend to enjoy the album more. The rest of the songs there on the back half of the album, I feel like they grow stronger. Um, they flow into one another very well. And so I think that this album is definitely a grower because I caught stuff the second and third time that I didn't catch the first time. So that's a positive. Something else I like, didn't like though, my bad. Something else I didn't like though are Hami's vocals. Not his singing, but the lyrics themselves. Um, he generally writes very strong lyrics, but I feel like the lyrics here are a little too, um, overindulgent and pretentious. Um, there's some stuff that's just, like, it actually seems like he wrote a word and then went on Microsoft Word, typed in thesaurus, and changed the word from the thesaurus there. That's what it seemed like. It just seemed like there were unnecessary words, um, words that he used just to rhyme, um, so I felt like that was a little unnecessary, but overall, um, I'll give this album a tentative 7, because I feel like it's good, um, especially Elephants and Scumbag Blues, but I feel like it still has potential to grow on me, um, if it does, I'll change the rating here, uh, in terms of artwork, uh, this album is pretty strong, as you saw the cover already, but inside, uh, Look, it's like two vultures with baseball bats here. They show, they show the lyrics on every song, and the title is in bold and big. Uh, the one problem, that's a really cool one, but the one problem that I see here is sometimes, maybe you can't see it, but sometimes the lyrics here, the, the white and the black lyrics, they overlap, and it makes it difficult to know um, what exactly is going on there. And if you're reading the lyrics, you don't exactly know where to go. So that's a little annoying that the art kind of went and screwed up the real reason why you have lyrics. Um, but either than, other than that, I think the artwork is very good. Anyway, I'll give this album a 7 out of 10. Check this video.